Before we get your thoughts on Ovi, just uh, the overall thoughts you had uh, on last night's game against the Toronto Maple Leafs and how, how pissed off are, or is Washington blown a, a lead uh, and, and losing uh, losing two points in regulation time to a, to a goal under a minute? Well, I know for a fact last night was probably the most upset they were all season after blowing a game, and it all went south after Ovechkin left the game. And, you know, the, the guys let up, and, you know, the, it, it just seems like they were on their heels. And, you know, they, they did a lot of good things in the game, but at the same time, when you give it away the way they did, uh, you know, they, they, they still end up losing a shootout, but they, they let Toronto get back in the game late in the game by backing off, not being physical, not taking away the middle of the ice, and they let them wheel and deal inside the offensive zone, which they really didn't do all game. They didn't let them get that five-man cycle going, and that's ultimately what cost them the game. So it, it's and they certainly had their chances in in overtime and on that power play. Talk about a time when you want Ovechkin playing. They yeah. definitely they definitely want Ovechkin uh, on the ice in that four-on-three power play because that thing really wasn't getting the looks it needed to get. No kidding. The um, So the Capitals played uh, Tampa Bay uh, like under three weeks ago and had a look at them then and beat them. What are your thoughts on what the Lightning have going on right now? Looks like Toronto's first round opponent uh, crushing teams right now and running up the offense. They look legit again, don't they? Absolutely. You know, and it's that time of year when their best players are starting to rise up and, and take it a lot more serious. And, and not like they don't all the time, but it's just that the, the way they play, you know, they've become a real physical team. And, you know, the the things that they do now, you know, they bullied they bullied the Maple Leafs last week. They they bullied the Florida Panthers in the last game they played. And, you know, those things are important. I think you have to be able to play all styles of the game. And if they want to go back and forth, they can do that. But I think they realize their bread and butter now is playing gritty hockey and scoring timely goals. And it's – you know, it's, it's been great to see their transformation, that they understand each and every single player on that team understands how important it is to play physical and, and defense-first hockey in the playoffs. One of those bullies at times can be Ovechkin. So uh, before we get your thoughts on what a dirty player that Schalgren is, man, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that underestimated Swede uh, taking out to uh, Ovi, uh, give us an update. Have you heard anything? Is it uh, hopefully not serious for cop fans, Ovi's injury? Why? Well, no, I do not believe it's serious. And one of the things the Caps have done this season, uh, they haven't believed the players so much on their health. And, you know, they, they've exercised caution because, you know, mm -hmm. Nick, you and I were great liars when we were playing. You want to stay in the lineup. You want to play every game. And you don't want someone riding, you know, riding in your spot. So you lie to the coaches, you tell them you're fine. And the coaches here have shut the players down this year because last year it got them in a boatload of trouble at the end of the year. And I think it was six or seven players over the last 10 days of the regular season last year that went down. And all of a sudden there were ailments all over the place. And right now I don't think they'll let that happen. So, you know, it, Ovi, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see him play because he's so stubborn that he always wants to play. He's the kind of guy that will play sick. He'll do whatever. And it'll be up to the team to, you know, put their foot down and say, no, you're not playing. And I think that might be the important thing to do. And it, it's, it doesn't sound like it's serious at all. And it's just be precautionary, if anything, just so no one has egg on their face. If he were to actually go out there and, and get things up in the game and then they'd have to wear that forever. So all kidding aside was Ovi pissed off at Shulgren or the official for, for not making a tripping call. I think he was just campaigning to try to get a power play and he probably wouldn't have went down the tunnel. And I, do, I still don't know. I haven't talked and asked yet if there was a concussion spotter there and that they sent him off the ice as well. So it, it, I think he was just campaigning for a penalty and, and trying to get on the power play as you know, he loves the power play. He loves getting out for that. So it, it wouldn't have been surprised me if that was just a campaign by Ovi to get another crack at it. Alan, what are your thoughts on uh, the, the big dogs on Toronto there? Matthews and Marner last night, Matthews had been injured uh, back in a couple of games. Now he hasn't scored in, in about five. Uh, did, did he look the same to you as he, as he look as dominant? 
No, he didn't. And it was, it, it, he, he kind of played a ginger game mm-hmm. and it was, it, it wasn't usually I, I'm just, you know, fascinated by a lot of the moves that the guy has and the way he handles and carries the puck. You know, the ice was just absolutely horrible yesterday. And he's about the only guy that handled it right where it wasn't flipping and rolling and bouncing on him is because the way he covers the puck at all times. But he, I don't think he was taking chances yesterday, putting himself in harm's way. And it, he, it looks like he's probably just making sure that he's ready to go game one of the playoffs and doesn't add a- anything else to what's been going on with him. We had a quick conversation on Kuznetsov's little twirl with the, with a stick. Is that something you've seen before, or is that uh, over-exaggerated oh. last night? Because I, I don't understand it. Can you explain to me um, what what the heck that is? He just does it. It's just part of him. He's a flashy, flamboyant player. <laughs> okay, enough and, said. And, and, you enough know, said. <laughs> yeah, and he just, you know, he's got he's got the great bird celly when he scores a lot of goals. Um, that was absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to have it timed for my show tomorrow to see how long it took him to get down and score once he first touched <laughs> the puck. And then, and then my video guy is going to slow it down because I can't keep track of how many times he touched that puck forehand to back. <laughs> and, and like I, a Ginsu and I knife. Know, I, <laughs> Order yeah, yours today. I want to know. And he was going so slow that I was worried the puck was going to stick to the ice because the ice was absolutely horrendous. It was like, it was worse than old cap center days yesterday. And I know the players on the Leafs were complaining about the humidity in the building. And it was, you know, close to 90 degrees yesterday. Wow. It was pretty humid in DC. And it, it, it was hilarious when he goes down there and it's, he's done that a couple times now, but it just blows me away that guys can actually do that and have the nerve to keep going and going that slow and have the confidence to do it. Because if you don't score on that, you look like an absolute fool. And and almost like every shootout goal, you know, the ones that guys don't score on, you're like, damn, what the hell was that? <laughs> and I probably said that six or seven times for players on both teams last night in, in the shootout. I was like, what the hell was that? Yeah, that was disgusting. That was awful. And it's 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 amazing when it doesn't work. It, it looks so bad when it works. It look, this looks incredible.